Hello everyone, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest, Edgar's Ruse. This quest is considered experience difficulty and is long length, about 40 minutes. The requirements for this quest include 31 Herblore, which is boostable, and completion of Druidic Ritual and Troll Stronghold quests. It is also recommended that you have 44 Agility. In your worn equipment, you will need climbing boots. It is also recommended that you have a games necklace or Falador teleports and weight reducing gear. In your inventory, you'll need vodka, pineapple chunks, two logs, 10 grain, five raw chicken, tinder box, pestle and mortar, and an unfinished Ranar potion. It is recommended that you bring Ardoin teleports, food, super energy, and stamina potions. There are no enemies in the quest, however, you'll have to run past thrower trolls and mountain trolls. Linked in the description below are maps for more information. Before you start, it's important that you check your quest journal after every step to make sure that you have completed each task. This will save you from long and frustrating walks later. To start the quest, you must first travel to Taverly. An easy way to get there is by using your game's necklace to Berthorp and walk south, or use a Falador teleport and walk north. Once there, speak to Sanfu. He is located on the top floor of the herb shop. Afterwards, you'll need to travel to Trollheim. You can use another game's necklace teleport to Berthorp to save some run energy. There are a few different ways to get there, so be sure to use the maps to guide you. Be aware of the thrower trolls as you make your way to Trollheim and make sure you have protect from missiles on. Climb over the rock piles when you come to them and make your way towards Dad. Use the north gate to exit. Follow the northwestern path and enter the cave to the north. Continue and exit the cave. Follow the path until you come across an agility shortcut to the west. If you have 44 agility, you can use the shortcut to get to the top of Trollheim. If not, you'll have to run around and again use protect from missiles as the thrower trolls will be here. Once you're at the top, enter the cave. Talk to Edgar. When prompted, select chat option 1. Afterwards, leave the cave. Head down the hill and take the southwest path towards Troll Stronghold. If you're 44 agility, you can use another shortcut to the northwest to get down quickly. Be warned that the trolls here and in the stronghold may attack you. Enter the stronghold using the entrance to the north. When inside, run south and use the stairs to go down. You should see four troll cooks. Speak to burnt meat. Now you'll need to return to Edgar. Head back up the stairs and exit the stronghold. Talk to Edgar again and when prompted, select chat option three. Now you'll be teleporting to Ardoin. If you need to, you can bank here to resupply. Enter the Ardoin Zoo and go to the Parrot Exhibit which is nearby the entrance. Talk to Parrotty Pete and ask him both questions. Right click on the pineapple chunks and use them with the vodka to make alco chunks. Use this on the Avery hatch on the side of the cage. 
you will receive a drunk parrot. Do not drop the parrot at any time or it will fly away. Now you'll need to go back to Edgar. Make your way to Trollheim just as before. Once there, talk to Edgar and select chat option 3. Once again, enter the Troll Stronghold. Once you enter, run north and down the stairs. Enter the door to the east and go down another set of stairs into the prison cells. Walk west and use a parrot on the torture rack to hide it. Next, you'll need to go back to Taverly. Use your game's necklace to Berthorp and walk south or Falador teleport and walk north. Find Tegid. He is washing his clothes in the lake. Speak to Tegid. Select chat option 3 to receive a dirty robe. Return to the outside of Edgar's cave. Search the nearby grass patches for thistle. It looks like a small green sunflower. This may be quite hard to find, but eventually you'll see it. A good tip is that the thistle will appear yellow at the top left of the game window. If you still can't find it, Hopping Worlds might help. Head inside and talk to Edgar. You'll give him the dirty robe, a log, the grain, and the raw chicken. Light your remaining log with the tinderbox. Use the troll thistle on the fire to dry it out. Use the thistle on the pestle and mortar to make ground thistle. Use this on the unfinished ranar potion to make a troll potion. Talk to Edgar again to give him the potion. Go back to the troll stronghold prison cells and search the rack to retrieve the parrot. Return to Edgar and talk to him. He will take the parrot and give you the fake man. Now you'll need to go back to burnt meat inside the stronghold. Remember when inside, head south and down the stairs. Talk to burnt meat and when prompted, select chat option 1. You'll give him the fake man and he'll give you burnt meat which you can drop. Open the kitchen drawers in the southeastern corner of the room and search them to find the storeroom key. Head down the stairs that are directly north of you. Follow the path and enter the first room. Open the next door and stand in the doorway, but do not move from here. You will now need to steal the goutweed, and in order to do so, you must not get caught by the trolls in the storeroom. 
If you are caught, you'll be kicked out and will have to start over. Be sure to reference the maps linked in the description for more help, and make sure that your run is on. In order to reach the first safe spot, you must wait for the two trolls to intersect as seen here. Click on the spot when ready. Once in the first safe spot, wait for the two guards to the east to walk parallel to each other and start walking south. Run to the second safe spot. For this next part, don't worry about the troll standing next to the crate full of goutweed. He's asleep. Wait for the guards to clear, as seen here, and run to the spot next to the crate. Click on the crate to receive goutweed. You will automatically be kicked out. If you are planning on doing the quest Dream Mentor at any time, it is highly recommended that you grab a second Goutweed while you're here as it's a requirement for that quest. Once you have your Goutweed, return to Sanfu and Taverly. When prompted, select chat option 2 to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received one quest point, 11,000 herb lore experience, ability to grow and steal Goutweed, the ability to use the Trollheim teleport, and the ability to use scroll of redirection to redirect a teleport to house tab to Trollheim. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.